welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs. So to start the week today, we're going to talk about Amazon wigs. Now, I know there's so many of you that may not be able to afford or get yet a high-end wig like something from Godiva's. But you want to wear wigs, so you may want to just get a wig and see how you go. And that's what I did because, you know, at the beginning, I didn't really want to pay a lot of money for a wig that I didn't know if I was going to wear. So I wanted a cheaper option. So maybe you want a cheaper option or you want to get creative with the wigs. The things I love about just getting a wig from somewhere like Amazon is, you know, it's it's cheap. It's a cheap price. So if you cut bangs into it or you change something on it and you don't like it, it's OK to throw it in the bin and start again. You know, you're not going to be throwing a lot of money away. Whereas if you get a high end wig, it's cost you like two, three hundred pounds and you know, you, you kind of do something wrong on it, then, you know, you've got to kind of reap what you sow with that, you know. And I've been there and done that because when I first got my first wig from Godiva's, it was a tailor wig. And I will be showing you that at some point because I have got it now so I can wear it. But it was the first time I'd put on a proper wig, not just an Amazon wig, and it was a machine teased wig and it sat higher on my head and it freaked me out and I thought, what am I going to do with this wig? I'm never going to wear it. So I started cutting it up and it was an expensive wig. And I thought, Liz, what have you done? And I was like, oh, all this regret came through me. And then I thought, right, OK, called on Archangel Jophiel, the beauty angel, to help me beautify the wig. And I've turned it into a short bob with bangs. And I really like it. I've been to the theatre in it and I do wear it. So it's kind of like my little Cleopatra short wig. So you know, you can change things and adjust things that you think you've ballsed up. So that's a good thing too. But, you know, maybe you don't, you, you're either thinking, well, I don't want to spend a lot of money right now on a wig just in case I don't like it. It may be your first time or maybe you're wanting to create and you're just thinking, how can I make them more comfortable? So really this wig, it, this wig, this video, or this wig video isn't um, a video to review an Amazon wig because I am going to be doing that. This is how to make Amazon wigs or any wigs that you get from the cheaper end wigs that you, you know, more comfortable. So I'm going to show you a wig. Now, this is a wig. This is one of the first wigs that I bought from Amazon. Now, first of all, you know, you can see straight away that she looks quite natural. OK, she feels quite natural, but on the top of the head, she feels completely fake. Okay, not like a Godiva secret wig, that's all I'm going to say. So you can see, obviously, the parting can look quite fake as well. But I mean, I like this wig. Okay, it's just a basic kind of wig with bangs. Now, when the bangs came, they were quite like down here because they do tend to do bangs long to customise them to any face. So I had to cut the bangs as well, which you're going to see in a minute. So I haven't worn this wig for a while, so it may need a good brush as well. But... I bought this wig and I put it on and it was just the most uncomfortable wig. The cap felt too big, the ears hurt me, everything in this wig was digging into me. And I thought, well, there you go, money down the drain, you know. But I thought, well, at the end of the day, it's trial and error now. When I buy a wig from Amazon, I don't look at the cap size or anything like that either I just buy them and because I know that if I use a wig grip band from Godiva Secret Wigs it's going to stay on anyway so I don't really care about that I just know I'm going to have to adjust it when I get it so this is the wig so I'm going to show you in the middle so maybe you've got a wig right now that you've bought from Amazon or maybe a costume shop or and you're thinking why is it hurting me so much why now it's probably because of what's inside the cap now I've cut everything out of mine and I I find that they're so much more comfortable and to me comfort is more important than the way they look okay because if you own a wig you're going to look good anyway regardless of how the wig actually is but you're going to get the wig in a much better style and you know much easier to wear if you're feeling comfortable wearing it than if it's hurting you or it's digging in you or you're just feeling Oh, in it, you know, you didn't feel very nice. So what's the point of wearing it then? So it's worth adjusting it. So the first thing I do, and what I've done is I've ordered a couple of Amazon wigs so I can show you the before and after. So we can style one and, you know, kind of prepare one together. So that will be a video coming soon. 
So first of all, you get at the back, you know, the bra straps that you tighten up. Obviously on Godiva Secret Wigs, they are perfect. You don't have to do anything. Trust me, with those wigs, you don't have to adjust anything in the cap at all. They are perfect as they are. The only thing you may want to do is customise the bangs or the length or, you know, to get it how you want it. Whereas with Amazon wigs, I find as soon as I get one, I cut out bits in the middle before I even put it on now because I know, I just know they're going to hurt me. So any clips or grips that are in it, you know, they have those kind of um, like... You know, the ones that go into your hair, what they call them. They're not like these. These are the wig grip bands. Well, no, wig clips, should I say, that I've bought from Amazon to sew into my high-end wigs. They don't look like this. They're like, um, you know, I can't think they're like, they go in like that, okay? I haven't got any to show you because I'm just doing this video by the seat of my pants, you know? Fly by the seat of my pants, girl. So I've cut them out as well. I get a pair of scissors and I'm not afraid to take things out it's not going to ruin the wig it's going to make you feel better so any clips in this wig i took out i think there was a one at the front and there was one at the back and then the ear tabs they just oh they were digging in me it was painful so where the ear tabs were i cut them out now you can see this now if you're wondering how to do that i am going to do a video in the future to show you but I just thought I'd jump on, say if you've got a wig right now and you're thinking, I really want to wear this wig, but it's hurting me, it's painful, it's digging into my ears, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to adjust it without, you know, damaging the wig. You're not going to damage the wig. So you get your scissors, cut out that tab, that ear tab. And when you do it, some of the hair is going to come out. Don't worry about that, okay? Put it in the bin, it's fine. It will be okay. Do it on both sides, okay? As long as you don't mind messing up your wig, don't hold me accountable if you do it and you don't like it, okay? This is what I've done to my wigs and in my opinion, from my personal use and experience, they just feel so much better without them in. So the thing I've found that hurts is the, the tabs on the ears because they either push down on your ears or they push your ears out or they're sticking in in some way. So this is how you do it. You cut them out and it makes them more comfortable. And one of our soul sisters, our wiggy sisters here said, you know, my Amazon wig feels like I've got a porcupine on my head. And that's possibly because of these tabs. So cut out anything that seems to be sticking in you. It will feel much better when you cut them out. And I will, as I said, be doing a video on that. So we're going to put her on. So I'm going to put her on with a wig band, okay? So obviously I haven't sewn anything into these wigs. I don't intend to sew anything into these wigs. I don't even know what this wig is. I just know I bought it from Amazon. So I wouldn't know how to tell you where you can get this wig from if you like it. But just kind of Google wigs with bangs on Amazon and you may find one very similar to this. So, and, and you know, if you want to know, I can find out. I can go through my Amazon kind of basket and find it. But, you know, I bought this quite a while ago now. So obviously it's got those wefts where it's breathable. So it is a breathable wig. But again, you can see from looking inside, it's not even in the same league as the Godiva Secret Wigs. These, the reason why I've used Amazon Wigs is because it's really allowing me to, you know, work on my creative flair because I just love adjusting them and creating things in them and cutting bangs. And obviously messing around with Amazon Wigs has given me the confidence to be able to cut bangs into my high-end wigs. So... That's why I've got them to cut them short. And I'm going to be showing you, you know, this week, my Amazon wig. So I'm just going to put my wig band on. And I am going to do a review on these wig bands, you know, at some point in the future too. So maybe even today I'll be doing that. So we'll see. So I'm going to put my wig on. So as you know, any wig, you hold it with your thumbs at the back. Obviously, this hasn't got a label on that, the Godiva's ones. But I get it level. And then I'm going to put it on like a bucket. So I'm going to put the wig about there and pull my head into it. So, and I'm going to push it back and tuck my wig, you know, tuck my hair in. And then with it, because I've cut things out, obviously it's not going to fit on as, as you know, securely as uh, some of the other wigs. But I'm going to pull it up where I want it, okay? Remember, the wig grip bands, which I really can recommend for Amazon wigs, is going to secure your wig. Now, without that wig band on, this wig, if I went like that, it would, put, it would pull straight off. And, you know, I'm going to show you because now, 
because I've put that on, I can actually brush it through while it's on my head. And I've done this through trial and error. So if I was brushing this wig now without a wig band in, on, without that wig grip band on, the wig would have already come off because, you know, it would just, because of how I've cut the pieces off and because of how it is, it would have just, you know, come off my head. So the wig grip bands really do work. The reason why I'm holding it there is just so that I can see what I'm doing in this light. So obviously she does need a good brush because I should have brushed her before I put her on, really. But she needs a good brush because I haven't worn her for ages. But I do like this wig, you know, and it for a good, I mean, this wig probably cost me £20 in the UK. I think it was 19 99 And then obviously from Amazon, you get the shipping cost as well, unless you've got Amazon Prime. So very, very cheap wig, you know, whereas some of the Godiva's wigs are, you know, kind of, a lot more than that, you know, so you're paying like £20 for this wig, whereas, you know, for another wig, you could be paying 200 so it's whatever your budget is, you know, it's whatever your budget is, and the only reason I could afford to buy all my Godiva's wigs is because of I have my mum's inheritance, and I spent a bit of money buying the wigs that I, I wanted, you know, I thought I'm going to invest in that, so rather than buying something, you know, my boyfriend had, had a car himself, so I thought, you know, well, I don't drive, so... If I drove, I'd have probably bought myself a car or something else. So I thought, I'm going to buy some wigs. Why not, you know? So this is this wig. Now, as you can see, it does look slightly fake on top. And it feels, the top feels fake. It feels like cardboard. Because I'm being very honest with you. You know, when I put my hand on the top of my head, it feels like cardboard. Now, when I put my hand on the top of my head with a Godiva secret wig, it feels like my scalp. Well, it feels nice. It feels, oh, mm, you know. With this wig, it doesn't feel like that. It looks good, you know. I think it looks quite good anyway, considering I've cut the fringe. I don't think I've done a bad job on this one. Obviously, you can see as well, it does sit a bit strange. So it's like this side is higher than that side for some reason. Can you see that? So, but it is a nice wig, and I've done videos on my other channel, Guided by Angels, in this wig. And, you know, people love this wig. So, you know, it is a good wig, but that's because I've owned the wig and I felt confident in it and made it what it is. You know, I haven't cut the length on it. All I've done is cut the bangs. So, and I will be doing videos where I'll show you how to cut bangs and things because I'm quite good at doing them now. So when I get, you know, a, a wig I want to cut bangs into. So, you know, this channel hopefully is going to be around for a long time. So obviously there's so much I want to do with this channel right now. And I'm like, Liz, you can only do a video every you know every day or there's only so much you can do there's only so much time in the day i just feel like i want to share everything right now and i need to slow down so this is the wig so this wig now feels very comfortable it's not digging in my ears why because there's no ear tabs there so obviously you know if you're blonde and you're wearing this one and it's dark it may look a bit odd there because you're going to have blonde hair there you've got no ear tab covering that side burn up and then you've got the brown wig but no one's going to see that anyway because you're going to have it like this or you're going to wear it like this. And if you pin it back, you know, you can do it so it covers that up. And that's okay. I would much rather have comfort around my ears and be able to wear a wig than have it digging in me and having to rip it off. You know, it's the same as well. I found that it was itching me and stuff before I cut these things out. So, and it feels good now. You know, but you've just felt so big and huge before... I cut these things out and now it feels wearable and I would actually if I had to go out in this I mean I tend to go out more in my uh, Godiva's wigs because they're very natural looking but you know I would go out in this and, you know I would go I don't think I, don't, I can't remember if I have gone out in this I've gone out in a few of my Amazon wigs but I don't think I've gone out in this one I may have done but you know again you make it natural by owning the wig so obviously there's many things you can do now I'm not going to be, you know, not yet anyway, kind of plucking out hairlines and things like that because, you know, this is more about you seeing the difference and making it comfortable. And obviously there's plenty of people out there that show you how to do these things. But, you know, it doesn't look... if You, you wouldn't really know it was a wig unless you came up very, very close and started analysing the party. Because to me, it feels like cardboard on my head, but to other people, it won't look like that. You know, to you, it won't look like that. So, 
This is more about comfort than a wig review. This isn't a wig review. This is telling you how to make these wigs comfortable. So have a go. Look at your own wig. Okay, so look at your own wig and look inside it and think, right, what's hurting me in this wig? Can I cut that bit out? And probably you can. Okay, so and take your time doing it. You know, maybe do one side and then try to think, wow, that feels so much better. And these, the ear tabs are the thing that I find in the Amazon wigs hurt. Now, obviously with Godiva's wigs, you want them, they pull down and they fit nice and they secure your wig to your head and they feel comfortable they don't dig in you like that because you know you get what you pay for but with these wigs you you know you you've got to kind of suck it up a little bit and do some work on them to get them how you want them to be but again if you want to secure it on wig bands so it doesn't matter what you cut out of it to you know the th the bits that secure it in if you want to cut them out cut them out if you've got a wig grip band that's going to secure the wig, as you can see, onto your head. This wig isn't going anywhere. The only reason it moves like that is because that's my forehead. You know, you have to actually pick the wig up and pull it off to get the wig off when you're wearing a wig band. So this is an Amazon wig. And, you know, it's a nice wig. You know, I've got no worries about wearing this. You know, I've worn this on the other channel, Guided by Angels, quite a lot, especially when I'm doing Sundays videos. It's kind of a Sunday-style wig to me. And I love bangs anyway. That's the reason why I bought this wig. I wanted a wig with bangs because, you know, I was never able to have bangs in my own hair because I tried it once and it gave me a headache. I felt disorientated, a bit dizzy. So I grew it out straight away. Whereas when you're wearing a bang with a wig, it doesn't feel that way because it's not your natural hair. So, you can, you know, you can wear it and it feels nice. So, yeah. And I've cut this bang myself in there. So again, you know, you can style them and customise these wigs however you want them to be. But much better, you know. And obviously I can feel, I just need to lift it up slightly there. Because I do find as well, some of these Amazon wigs can be very itchy. And that's again because, you know, there's things in there that need to be cut out. So it's trial and error with wigs. So if you've got an Amazon wig and you're thinking, right, okay, what do I do with this wig right now? Just be, have a very honest review of it. Look at the wig, think, okay, do I like this wig? If the answer is yes, keep it. If the answer is no, then just put it down as a trial and error. Maybe you can cut it up or change it, okay, before you think about throwing it away. If it's the inside, if it's hurting you and you're thinking, right, why aren't I wearing this wig? Is it hurting me? Is that the problem? Do I like the style and everything about it, but it's hurting me? Then you go inside the wig. And you think, okay, what's going on here then? Why is it hurting me? Don't think that you have to keep it the way it is because it's a wig or because that's how it is. You own that wig, so own it, change it, customise it, make it how you want it to be. Nobody is going to see the fact that you've cut things out or you've changed things in there. The only one who's going to know about that is you. And that's what matters, how you feel when you're wearing the wig. So make it comfortable. So I'm just going to put it back on because then I can do my thumbnail with the wig on and show you. But this video is about how to make your wig, you know, more comfortable. So let me know in the comment section what you think. If you have a go at changing some things about your wig, let me know if it works, if it feels nicer, if it feels better. And, you know, share your views about this too. And, you know, if you do like this wig, then obviously I can do a review on it and I can find all the information. But, you know, it's not a bad wig for 20 quid, you know, not a bad wig at all. You know, if you think if you go to a coffee shop with your friends, you're going to spend that. So, you know, it's, it's no money at all, really. And it is pretty. You know, it is quite natural looking. You can see on camera. It's just the way it feels. Like, it, they're more about the way they feel, the Amazon wigs, in my opinion. Obviously, I know it's not an Amazon wig. It's, a, it's from a company. You know, it's not like Amazon have made this wig. This is just where I've got it from. So, you know, I don't, I'll have to find out what the make is and stuff and what the colour is. But, you know, that this wig is, you know, it may look natural on, but to me, it feels very fake compared with the high-end wigs. But you could easily get away with wearing this. You know, I actually wore one of my Amazon wigs and I went to see a member of my family and she, you know, obviously I told her I got a wig on, but she said if I hadn't have said, she would never know. And, you know, nobody, if I'm wearing this, nobody's going to be looking, thinking, oh, she's got a wig on. Because people just don't think that. I mean, when you're a wig wearer, it's a bit different because you do start looking at people's hair because you think, oh, is that a wig? Or because you start appreciating 
wigs. And, you know, I, I watch, like, something on the telly now and I think, oh, is that a wig? You know, is that person wearing a wig? Or Because I'm appreciating wigs and passionate about them. But nobody in, you know, your day-to-day -day world, you know, is going to be like this, looking at your hair, thinking, has she got a wig on? So own it. When you own something, you can, you know, you can own it. You can be confident in it. It's like if you wear a certain pair of shoes or a dress. You know, if you're not very confident wearing them, it's going to show. If you own it... People are going to want to own it too. People are going to be like, wow, I want those shoes. I want that dress. I want your hair. So you may get lots of compliments. I love your hair. And you can say, oh, thank you. Or you can say it's a wig. You can be honest and do what you want. You know, if people say anything about my hair, I'm very honest and say I wear wigs because I'm passionate about it and I'm excited about wigs. And I want to show people that wigs are wearable on a daily basis. And that's the whole point of me doing this channel. So I hope you like this. Let me know if the tips work for you and I'll see you soon.